the campfire, gonna survive. Every girl has a dream. Welcome to my world. I'm a Yankee girl. This is the story of Lily and Sophie, sisters and best friends, weeding out childhood cancer. Although Lily and Sophie have been taught not to hate, they still hate cancer. But you know what? It's okay to hate cancer, because good things could come out of that. And no child should ever have to go through such difficult treatments. So you know what Lily and Sophie decided? They decided to raise money to help find better treatments for childhood cancer and hopefully find a cure. When Lily's doctor told her that leukemia was like weeds in a garden, she knew that she wanted to have a foundation named Lily's Garden to raise money to fight childhood cancer. Lily has a goal of raising $1 million for Lily's Garden. Find out how you can help at liliesgarden.org. You're the angel of our dreams, turning over life to us, making all our wishes come Then came you, then came you. Hi, I'm Lily. Hi, I'm Sophie. And we're sisters and best friends. Okay. We're going to tell you a little bit about our story. It all began when I had um, pain in my legs. We went to the doctors to find out what it was. And so. um, the cancer was leukemia or ALL. Acute lymphoma leukemia, I think. They kind of explained it saying it's like weeds. Um, the leukemia cells are weeds and we're trying to fight it. Yes, I am, I am cancer free. free but busy. now I still have to go to the hospital every now and then to get my blood to make sure nothing's growing and I, I'm all healthy. Um, I can't remember exactly what all the five stages were called. It started easier at the beginning and then it kind of got harder in the middle and then it got easier again. It was weird. The first stage is induction. It lasts a month and is usually more inpatient than outpatient. The goal is to reduce the leukemia cells throughout the body by bombarding the body with chemo. It includes a lot of different harder chemotherapies. This phase lasts 30 days and Lily was inpatient 21 of them. Phase two is consolidation. It is meant to target leukemia cells that have hidden in the spinal column or brain. Leukemia cells have the ability to hide in the central nervous system where traditional chemo can't reach. It is weekly spinal chemo injected into the fluid through a spinal tap. This phase also lasts a month. Phase three or stage three is interim maintenance, also called IM. It lasts for two months. This is still a time of intense chemo, but it is a little less intense than the prior stages to give the body a slight rest. It is still weekly and daily chemo, however, not as hard on the body so it can regain strength for the next phase. Delayed intensification. This is considered the knockout punch for leukemia. This is one of the most intense phases of chemo, combining spinal chemo and lots of other harsh chemos. It is divided into two month long periods, each with different intense chemotherapies. Lily spent a lot of time inpatient during these two months, in addition to Lily being very sick. She also had a lot of delays in treatment due to how long her body took to recover. Stage five is long-term maintenance. It's basically a three month schedule of chemo that repeats itself over and over until you reach your stop date. The stop date is two years after starting IM. Basically, you do almost two years of long-term maintenance. Now during this phase, kids' hair will grow back and some won't even know they're being treated still. However, Lily was always very tired and nauseous the entire time. Here's the schedule. Every three months, a spinal tap with chemo. Every month, in-clinic chemo through her port. Every month, a week-long high-dose steroid at home every week a high dose chemo pill, and every day a different lower dose of chemo. The chemo lasts about two and a half years. They explained what cancer was with a toy to me. They told me it was like Lily. And so 
They said what they're going to do to her and what cells now she has. Sophie has helped me by being there for me, um, always being confident, and she's always positive. And some other people are my grandparents that help me stay strong, my parents. Um, basically, my whole family helped me. My friends were very helpful with me. They all, my class, like my whole grade, wrote letters to me. We hung them on the wall um, in the hospital. Everywhere we moved, we had the letters, and we still do. It was my idea to get the mailbox because I felt that Lily sometimes was sad and confused why she had this, and I thought she just needed some help from her friends to cheer her up. The hardest thing was probably losing all my hair and everybody staring at me, laughing at me, and whispering about me. It was really hard. It did grow back very thick. One time in science class and saying what, where we got all of our genes from. And my hair gene, I had to say, from chemo because it grew back thick and my parents don't have thick hair, so I had to say chemo. And helping other people has definitely been the best thing, is fundraising money to help out with childhood cancer. I think the best piece of advice if somebody just got sick from leukemia, even if it's an adult or a child, would be probably to have some courage, believe in yourself, just be positive throughout the whole thing. There was some parts where I was like, why me? Like, I wanted to give up. There were parts of that, but I just kept going on, and I was like, okay, I'm, I whispered to myself, it's going to be fine. I'm going to make through this. Um, Papa's what do we Papa? call our grandfather? So we really do enjoy being on the farm. We ride a mule. It's kind of like a golf cart, not an actual animal, but. <laughs> <laughs> and we have chickens, if you can hear them in the background. <laughs> um, I did come here a lot because we painted a lot. We came outside. We played a lot. I learned how to drive the mule a little bit before I had cancer, and so I kept learning, having fun. I know why she got it because now we're raising so much money to help other kids. My foundation is called um, Lily's Garden. It's kind of like um, my garden and my body, how they explained it. Weeds are growing and we're killing them and we want flowers to grow back. And now that I'm cancer free, sometimes I feel like, wait, am I going to get this again? But I do live my life like there's nothing wrong with me, like there was nothing wrong with me. Well, cancer for Lily has affected me by having that frightening moment when I was a child, but now it's all okay. This is nothing like it was back then. I can make it through this. So. It was really hard for me because I always wanted to see Lily getting the treatment because I thought I could help her more, but they wouldn't let me. Only adults can go by when she's taking all the treatment. I look at life differently now because I can see people have the tough times and people have the good times. So you have to enjoy the good times. My favorite thing to do at the farm would definitely be riding my mu riding the mule. Or I the like the picking the eggs from the chickens, picking the stuff from the garden and riding the mule or the golf cart. I don't know about this. They seem like crazy drivers. See ya. Paul is in charge of it, and it's almost time to collect the honey, so we'll be collecting the honey soon. We actually do a bee party for when we have, uh, for when it's honey time to get the honey. We have honey butter, we have honey, we have honey and raspberry. We do a bee quiz. It's very ridiculous. It's, it's, ri it's ridiculous. really ridiculous. <laughs> but it's fun! We have a cat named Pumpkin and a dog named Jake and a puppy named Cabby. This is Cabby. Cabby! He is so happy. Huh? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
So she's laying eggs? Yeah. Oh, cool. Hi, Mom. Laying eggs. What you're hearing is the egg song. <laughs> so, so they sing a certain song? Yeah, it's like... Bop, 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 bop. And that's what she's doing. Right I'll show you baby chickens. <gasps> baby chickens! I love I baby, love baby stuff. You see <laughs> They got quiet all of a sudden. I know. Yeah. They know they're going to be on TV. I've never seen chickens this quiet. No. So you guys get to eat fresh eggs, huh? Yeah. This is me and Lily's book that my grandma made when uh, Lily was in cancer and she just lost her hair and it's starting to grow back. Planning to me, if you can see the orange puppet thing. That also showed me where I was gonna get this porta cap. It's, um, I got it right around, like, kind of in the chest area. Um, it's to where I got IVs and stuff. They poked me there to get my blood and everything. Um, yes, we are talking about Carol. This is all, this book is about all of the pictures. It's about what I went through. It's got pictures of Miley Cyrus, <laughs> liliesgarden.org. All the money goes to Vanderbilt Children's Hospital um, to help research. research for research. I have um, guideposts in here. It's my grandmother's side of the story and how we made apple tarts for fun. <laughs> that fun with our grandmother, we always cooked with her. Um, it says, in the book it says, I had 800 days of chemo, if you wanna know the days instead of years. Mainly inspired about when we were younger and uh, during chemo, she had a, uh, her own little menu for us. We'd have a little picnic at the hospital, have some fun. I just really remember one night, um, I really missed my sister. And it was during the winter and ice was everywhere on the ground. In some way I talked my grandparents into going. We got popsicles and we all had a fun time. We had pizza. We all hanged around in Lily's bed. When all, she was in the hospital, she got real close to some friends and they sadly had the same thing but didn't make it. So she knew that there was a possibility of death. Dying. Plus my mom did have to tell me that I could have a chance of dying. Most of my cancer friends did die. Savannah is one of my angel friends. The happiest days was probably when uh, I got a call from my mom saying that Lily's cancer free. The goal for my life would definitely be um, make, getting it to where you, you can give one person a shot and you're done with cancer. My cool. goal for my life is for me and Lily to make a difference for kids with cancer so they can just take one pill. Live life. Yeah, live your life. <laughs> Don't be down by the bad things. Your life will get better. Just wait for the good things. Always stay positive. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh you not going to have the dog in there? for country life. Okay. Come here, Kimmy. Pumpkin! Pumpkin! What's his name again? Jake. 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 None of the animals want to be on TV. <laughs> Appreciate you being on Yankee Girl TV, and you're so inspirational. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Go away. See Bye. 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 Got it? All right. So we'll catch you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You're the angel of our dreams Turning over life to us Making all our wishes come true Just when we thought hope ran out I'm standing here in Frank
Franklin, Tennessee, outside of Temple Fitness, getting ready for the second annual charity event called Lift for Lily. All proceeds from Lift for Lily goes to Lily's Garden, weeding out childhood cancer, and Vanderbilt Children's Hospital. Today at Temple Fitness, we're going to be seeing an inspiring workout program that's replicating the five stages of cancer treatment. Temple Fitness and I'm sitting with my old buddy Joey Barbera who is also from my hometown of Rochester, New York. Well, Spencerport really, right? Him and his brother used to wrestle for Spencerport so that's how we know each other and the funny thing about it is that we all ended up in Tennessee. So I'm speaking with Joey Barbera, this is his wife Kelly and this is Luke and Luke is one of the personal trainers at uh, Temple Fitness, correct? Yep. So Lift for Lily, tell me exactly uh, what it is and how it came about. So, Lift for Lily came about. Um, a client of ours, Larissa, her daughter, um, had cancer and uh, basically approached the idea with Joey and Kelly about setting up an event um, for a foundation that she created, Lily's Garden, and uh, having the proceeds go to that. Um, so, it's a workout mimicking the five stages of leukemia. Well, I've always had a desire to uh, help out with cancer in some way. Um, so when I met Larissa, there was a perfect opportunity to give back and help out with the kids. Huh. Uh, last year we raised 7,337, I oh, believe was the exact number that we raised. Wow, that's amazing for your first year. Now is this going to continue to be an annual event? Yes. It is, yes. okay. Um, it's, we're the owners of both, okay. but Temple Fitness is uh, personal and group training. CrossFit is a whole other mythology uh, for group fitness. It's like a separate templefitnessfranklin.com and southfranklincrossfit.com and you can always find us on Facebook as well. Facebook, okay great. And what's the number to the gym just in case? 615-791-0010. Like for the old school people like me that just like to call and say hey. For Joey and I, we're always wanting to make it a non-intimidating environment. And that's the same thing with the, with the, the workout, with the event. Yeah, the for anyone. Yeah, the event's set up with uh, you know, no competition to it. There are no winners. Uh, it's all about Lily and the proceeds going you know, to her organization. Yeah. And that's a, What's your goal? Uh, I'd like to do better. Uh, yeah. I'd like to, 10,000 would be a goal of mine. Wow. It's 10,000. Woohoo! Woo <laughs> <laughs> they can't make it to the event. You go to Lily's, Lily's Garden, um, dot org. Lily'sGarden.org. Okay, great. When you met Lily, how did she strike you? I mean, in a certain way that you knew that this girl was gonna make really make a difference. Um, strong. Yeah. That's how I would describe her. Beautiful, positive quotes around the whole gym. So, <laughs> tell me about this sign behind us. Honor your body. Who? Where did that come from? Well, that comes from um, First Corinthians, and basically, your body is your temple. And God only gave us one temple, and it homes our Holy Spirit, and we must do it well. So we got this temple with Christ. It's not ours, and so we tell everybody to honor your body and honor God. I just got that temple fitness. <laughs> One of the things that I like is that um, I've been invited many a times to them to. You're more than welcome to go and see where that money goes. My mom, Marisa, is actually on the board now. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah you can go up there and just kind of see how they put the money to use. Who set up the five stages of the workout? Joey. Okay. So the five stages, the first stage is called induction. Um, it's a variety of different chemos that they put in the, in the body. So we set up the exercises with five different exercises um, to kind of mimic that. Second stage is consolidation, which is um, where they target specific cells. Um, so we have, they're doing wall balls where they have to hit a specific target. Um, What's a wall ball? Wall ball. Oh, you get, wall ball. You get, wall grab, ball. A, grab a big medicine ball, you oh. squat with it basically, throw it, the target's 10 or 8 feet okay. above you. Um, and then you and then you receive it, bring it back down. And, and is it heavy? Uh, 20 pound ball for the men and a 14 pound ball for the ladies. Okay. And you do, it's 150 reps of those for the, we got three three different categories that they're competing in. It could be the hardcore, 
the badasses, or the, Troopers. the beginners. Well, stage three yeah. is long-term uh, interim maintenance, so we have them going on a run. Our hardcore guys are going for one and a half miles, the badasses are a mile, and then the warriors are a half mile. And then stage four is delayed intensification. That's the toughest of the four stages of uh, treatment. And uh, so we have them doing some two, it's two, they break it down into two. So we have two different exercises of doing. The first one is a farmer's carry around the buildings where you hold two, two weights. They're gonna be plates and then you just walk around the building. And then the uh, second one is burpees, which everybody hates doing burpees. What's so. the heck's a burpee? Um, yeah. That's what it makes you want to do. Yeah. Really? Have you had anybody get sick? Like, you know, it's so yeah. intense that yeah. uh, you get sick. My brother last year. Your brother? <laughs> Jason? He was doing the wall balls and all of a sudden he left for 15 minutes. And said, Where's my brother at? I walk into the bathroom and laying up against the wall like this because I just threw up. Oh, no. If he's an athlete. Oh, boy. Don't edit that part. <laughs> no, we'll put, keep that in. He'll love uh, Is he going to be here today? He'll be here. Oh, okay, great. No, I, I think Larissa is, is an amazing mom. She's raising these girls on her own with the help of great grandparents. And um, but to raise, to have a full time job, to raise two kids, and fight cancer, and now raise eight hundred fifty thousand dollars and be on the board at the Children's Hospital. That's I had the pleasure of actually meeting her, uh, Sophie, along with Lily, and the grandparents, Carol and Ron, and they are a super tight. Close, strong family. I had a, I had a ball. I went to the farm. <laughs> um, we are one of three events that goes towards Lily's Garden. Um, they have a 5K in West Haven. Um, they did a clay pigeon shoot just a couple weeks ago, um, and then this. Okay. So there's three yeah, events. And all the best of luck in raising Thank money you. today. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I always make everybody wait. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm Larissa Hinzek, Lily's mom. And just wanted to give you a little backstory of the reason for the event. Um, Lily was diagnosed with leukemia when she was seven years old. We had some deep conversations. She asked questions like, Mom, is my hair going to fall out? And then the most serious one, you know, Mom, am I going to die? And I mean, those are the type of questions that seven-year-olds should never be asking their parents. And so I said, well, let's do something about it. And she said, well, let's raise money. To try she set a goal to raise a thousand dollars, which I told her I would give her at that second. I said, let's shoot a little higher than that. I was thinking around a hundred thousand. She said, okay, a million. I said, all right. <laughs> and currently she's at nine hundred thousand dollars. Your child cancer is my dream. All of you who are here today, you are helping me reach my dream. So thank you all for keeping my dream alive. Oh, and by the way, this isn't as hard as what I went through, so you guys can do yeah. <laughs> This is for, for the cause. I'm doing great. Are you ready to do the challenge today? I am ready. Today Ooh. is my birthday, too. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> what about you, Jason? I'm looking forward to doing this workout. Yeah. The kids are here, and, uh, and my wife's here. We're going to do this workout together, so ah. we're excited. That's awesome. Remember the good old wrestling days? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. I'm going to have to tap into some of that to get through this workout today. Yeah, you are. Hi, everybody in Rochester. Woo. Hope everyone's doing well. <laughs>
There you go. <laughs> What's your name? Daddy. Yeah, and are you doing the challenge today? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Your Honor. Hi, family. We miss you guys. Oh. And we knew Michelle when she was just a little girl at uh, Special Court High School. Oh. Hi, Aunt Jody. Oh. We miss Aunt Jody. Bye, guys. <laughs> My name is Donna Dalton, and I'm with Monroe Carroll Junior Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt. They have a, a fund called Lily's Garden, and they um, are so generous. And this is the second year that they've done Lift for Lily. It's so important right now for us to have dollars that raise money for research. So maybe next year you can challenge yourself and join this beautiful charity event and raise money to fight childhood cancer. Out of $5.6 billion the federal government allows for cancer research each year, only $30 million is provided for childhood cancer research. Let's change that. Together, I think we can. And I think part of the big change is gonna be a little girl named Lily.